Each of the chambers are tuned to a different frequency, creating a different tone, coming together and making one shrill, loud blast. Canada's team, the Raptors, are out there, but you know, for years and years and years, I've thought in the NBA Finals, there is one thing from Canada in the NBA Finals, and that's the Fox 40 whistle. We've been in every NBA Finals for the last 31 years, and made in Canada. It's very humbling because I love basketball. Basketball is my business, although my favorite sport is CFL football. I love basketball and I have thought for years, you know, the Final Four and the NBA Finals, we have had Canadian representation. Well, the first thing uh, when, when my whistle failed and it came to my attention was the Olympic gold medal game in Montreal between United States and Yugoslavia. And Adrian Dantley, uh, who went on to be a star NBA player, got an elbow in the nose blood all over the place. I was in the trail position, blew my whistle with the little P, and it got stuck. And it was the Olympic gold medal game, which you're really not supposed to mess up. So a few years after that, uh, I was refereeing in the uh, NCAA, and everywhere I went, Notre Dame, North Carolina, Duke, UCLA, I'd blow that P whistle and it would get stuck. And, but I just thought that was something you live with. And then in 1984, I got assigned to work the pre-Olympic championship game in San Paulo, Brazil. Once again, there was a foul on Brazil, nine seconds to go, score tie. I blew my whistle with the little P and it got stuck. And the fund I found out the fundamental difference between an angry crowd in Montreal and an angry crowd in San Paulo, Brazil, they shoot referees in Brazil. And I decided at that moment, if I lived, I was going to come home and figure out a way to design a peeless whistle that wouldn't fail. I lived, came home, told my wife Marie I was going to work and design a peeless whistle, and she said, you've been in Brazil in the sun too long with a hat. And my family wouldn't talk to me for three and a half years. Anyway, we borrowed $150,000. I got two prototypes. Marie said we got two whistles worth $75,000 each, and we owe a big debt. The rest is history.